Did you know that the Gulfstream G400 was designed to fill a gap so precise, it redefined the entire large cabin jet category? Or that the Bombardier Challenger 650 is the evolution of a design that's been flying for over 40 years? In this video, we're diving into a full head-to-head -head comparison of two of the most iconic private jets in business aviation. From cutting-edge tech to luxurious interiors, we'll see what sets these sky giants apart and which one truly reigns supreme. Stay tuned because this battle of the skies is just getting started. At the end of 2021, Gulfstream chose to make aviation news by announcing not one but two new planes. When Gulfstream first announced their new products in October 2021, they were the G400 Large Cabin and the G800 Very Long Range Business Planes. The G400 is especially interesting because of the opportunity it presents, and there are a lot of other options in that market segment. When it came to the G400, Gulfstream filled in the gap between the G280 and the G500. The G400, G500, G600, G700, and G800 are now part of the same family and share more parts and systems. This means that future production costs will be lower and profits will be higher. The Challenger 650, which came out in 2014, is the newest form of the Challenger 600, which made its first flight in 1978. Many experts say it is the oldest business jet design still in production. It's time for a big update. It has been produced for 41 years, making the Challenger 600 series the most durable of these. It fills today's niche between super medium and traditional large cabin business jets. When Bombardier launched the plane, its official partner NetJets ordered 25 Challenger 650 jets in June 2012, with the option to buy 50 more. For NetJets, the plane went into service in November 2015. Cabin When it comes to the cabin, the G400 is the clear winner as the new competitor. The Challenger 650 had the largest cabin in its class before the G400 came along. It was 7.92 feet wide, 6 feet tall, and 28.4 feet long from end to end. The G400 has improved on those numbers. The cabin is 36 feet 4 inches long and 7 feet 7 inches high. However, the Challenger still has the wider cabin. The Challenger 650's cabin can accommodate up to 12 people, featuring a flat floor, larger seats, and standing headroom. The new Gulfstream can carry the same number of passengers as the Bombardier. Watch all the way to the end, because we'll compare the performance, interior, and price of these two jets. Gulfstream's new large cabin aircraft offers the largest and quietest cabins in its class, with flexible floor plans that can accommodate 9, 11, or 12 passengers, and offer two and a half living areas. With 100% fresh air and the lowest cabin altitude in its class, it also helps reduce jet lag. With the clean air system, Gulfstream is ensuring a healthy and safe environment, which is crucial in today's world. A plasma ionizing clean air system removes 99.9% .9 of airborne bacteria, spores, and odors, ensuring better health and safety. The G400 cabin features the largest panoramic windows in the industry, 10 of them, and of course, the signature Gulfstream Comfort. Bombardier offers its customers four different cabin floor plans each with different seating and washroom layouts. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notifications. Don't miss any of our videos about the world of luxury. Interior. The first executive floor plan can seat 10 passengers in an extended cabin. It features a four-seat divan in the front compartment and two club seats facing each other in the rear compartment. The second executive floor plan is a 12-passenger configuration with an extended passenger compartment. It offers club seating in the front compartment and a four-seat divan with a conference table in the rear. The third plan, which also accommodates 10 passengers, features club seating in the front and a four-seat divan and two facing club seats in the aft compartment. This layout also includes an extended washroom compartment that doubles as a full-size changing room. The fourth executive plan seats 12, with club seating in the front and a four-seat divan with a conference table in the rear compartment. The washroom can also serve as a full-size changing room. The cabin environment can be controlled using a mobile app connected via Bluetooth, which can adjust the entertainment system and cabin settings. 
Seating is flexible, allowing for extra wide, fully reclining executive chairs or side facing three seat couches without sacrificing aisle clearance or crowding the space. Several features have been included in the G400 to enhance pilot maneuverability and flight ease. Notable systems include Collins radios and dual Honeywell laser inertial reference systems. The G400's Symmetry Flight Deck is equipped with an optional head-up display and a new combined vision system to assist with landings in low visibility conditions. Additionally, the twin jet is equipped with a predictive landing system that calculates the aircraft's energy condition on approach and correlates it to the available runway length for landing. The flight deck of the Challenger 650 is designed for optimal comfort and control, blending the cockpit with the cabin seamlessly. It features a synthetic vision system and an advanced avionics suite with the latest navigation, communication, and surveillance architecture. The flight deck also has multi-scan weather radar, preventing weather misinterpretations, and guiding pilots in clear weather, reducing workload, and ensuring smoother travel. The head-up display and enhanced vision system provide maximum operational flexibility and increased situational awareness, resulting in smoother flights. Performance The G400 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney PW812GA engines, each delivering 13,496 pounds of thrust. The twin jet can fly up to 4,200 nautical miles at Mach 0.85, or 3,950 nautical miles at Mach 0.88. Either way, it can complete non-stop flights from New York to Los Angeles, Lima, Brasilia, Dakar, London, or Moscow. The maximum cruising speed of this private jet is Mach 0.9, with a ceiling of 51,000 feet. Composite materials are used in many areas of the G400, the nose radome, and the fuselage. According to Gulfstream, the plane has a maximum takeoff weight of 69,580 pounds and requires 5,000 feet of runway for takeoff. The Challenger 650 features improved General Electric CF343B turbofans, enabling it to carry greater payloads and travel longer distances from airports with challenging conditions. With six passengers on board, it has a range of 4,000 nautical miles, enough for non-stop flights from London to New York, Dubai to London, or Sao Paulo to Miami. The 9,220-pound thrust engines provide 5% more takeoff thrust than the Challenger 605. These engines give the Bombardier Challenger 650 a top cruising speed of 488 knots and a takeoff distance of 5,640 feet. The Challenger can cruise at a maximum altitude of 41,000 feet ensuring that passengers arrive at their destination feeling refreshed. Costs The G400 has a higher price tag than the Challenger due to being a newer model. The Bombardier Challenger 650 costs $32 million when purchased new. For a used model, prices range from $16 to $20 million, depending on hours flown. The Gulfstream G400 is priced at $32 million, and since the first deliveries are not expected until 2025, there are no used models available yet. If you made it to the end of the video, comment which jet do you like the most. And if you enjoyed this video, click here to discover the top 10 private jets for business travel in 2024. See you there in a second.